Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about Euglena. So now let's get straight to it. The term Euglena comes from the Greek U that means true, and Glen that means eyeball. It is a single cell eukaryote that belongs to the kingdom Protista and phylum Euglenozoa. Euglena is characterized by an elongated cell, 15 to 500 micrometers, with one nucleus, numerous pigmented chloroplasts, a contractile vacuole, an eye spot, and one or two flagella. Euglena can be found in fresh and brackish water rich in organic matter. It can also be found at various depths below the surface of the water. Did you know that Euglenas are protozoa with a mixed characteristics of both plants and animals? Like plants, they contain chloroplasts with chlorophyll. They can make their own food via photosynthesis. Euglena has a bright red eye spot that is made up of carotenoid pigment. It helps Euglena to detect bright areas for better photosynthesis. The photosynthesis produces paramylon, a complex starch-like carbohydrate. It serves as food storage and enables Euglena to survive long periods of light deprivation. Due to the presence of choroplasts, Euglena mainly has bright green body color. However, there are certain species such as Euglena rubra that appear red under sunlight because they contain a large amount of carotenoid pigment. Unlike plant cells, Euglena does not have a rigid cellular cell wall. Instead, the outer part of its cell membrane consists of a pellicle, which is made up of a layer of proteins and microtubules. Typically, Euglenas have two flagella rooted in basal bodies. One is a long whip-like structure at the front of the body, while the other is very short without protruding from the cells. The long flagellum works as a propeller and helps Euglena to swim and move from place to place like an animal. This movement is called flagellar movement. Another movement is euglenoid movement. Euglenas use pellicle to produce peristaltic movement to alter their body shape and return to their initial shape just like an elastic rubber band. Also, Euglenas can eat food like animals. They surround food particles such as organic dead and decaying matter using pellicle and consumes it by phagocytosis. This happens in the absence of sunlight as they cannot photosynthesize. It is useful for Euglenas that have lost their chlorophyll due to living in the regions of prolonged darkness, such as inside rocks. Euglenas reproduce asexually by binary fission and multiple fission. Under normal conditions, Euglena divides longitudinally into two daughter cells in the open water via binary fission. Multiple fission is usually performed under inactive conditions, where the availability of water, temperature, and food are not met. Euglena shows the stages of encystment, where multiple daughter cells are reproduced longitudinally within the cyst. When the conditions become favorable, daughter cells escape from the cyst to grow into adult Euglena. Did you know that Euglena can be taken as food supplement? In 2005, a Tokyo-based Euglena company marketed Euglena-based food and beverage products due to its potential health benefits. As Euglena is high in protein and nutritional content, it can be used to feed livestock and aquiform fishes. However, some species, especially Euglena viridis and Euglena sanguinea, can develop large toxic populations of green or red blooms in ponds or lakes with high nitrogen content. Also, some Euglenas are harmful. They can cause various human and animal diseases such as Chagas disease, African sleeping sickness, and Leishmaniasis. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.